Hi, so my name is Michiel van der Klei. Um, I'm here to tell you about a search of mine that um, led into a very different design, as you already told. Um, but to explain it, I have to go back a little bit. I'm a furniture designer, um, and the first few years as a designer, I, I just wanted to design nice and beautiful things. I thought it was just about looks you know, convinced that shape had a meaning on its own. Like, for instance, this couch I did some 10 years ago, and this desk. I like it, and I still do, but after some years, I thought there, there might be something else, you know, apart from just a design, uh, could I maybe add some, some extra use of value in, in a design? Uh, an example of that is, well, I'm sorry, functional, that's this thing. It's a mobile workstation I designed a few years ago, so you know it helps you to, to work wherever you want because you can take your whole workstation with you. I love it, but I was still challenged to go this one step further. I thought, um, could I maybe make a design that is nice looking, functional, and meaningful at the same time? Then, then, you know, if you want to know what meaningful is, you have to, to, to focus on what the real problems of the world of today are. Mentioned before, uh, energy. This is a Dutch article I found a few years ago claiming that uh, the growing use of electronic gadgets only already um, um, makes it... Uh, ma makes it it doesn't make it possible. It, it actually, I'm sorry, I, I forgot it. Um, it gives an extra 200 power plants in the very near future. I was a bit shocked by that, um, and I thought, what can I do about that? You know, now of course I could um, try to 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 be actually extra efficient with the energy, but that's not really my cup of tea. So I thought of something else. I thought of. Uh, producing the energy myself, actually. And I didn't know if it was possible, but I got an idea because of this thing. It's a diner torch from way back when. I got it from my parents when I was very young, and at that time I was already amazed by the fact that, you know, you could just squeeze the thing and light came out of it. Well, that, it's not the same as powering the amount of power I needed, so I went to TNO here in Eindhoven with the question actually, do you think it's possible to produce a machine that can produce that much energy that I can power my own laptop or iPad or iPhone? They did some research and they helped me and the answer was yes, we can. So I made a prototype, as you can see here with a few pictures. Um, we managed even to, to come up with some software. Uh, I'll come back to that later. Here you see it in full. Thank you. Uh, it's not a design, of course, so it made me realize I knew what I had to put into, and, and this is what it has become. I call it Wheeler. <laughs> it's, um, it's a very the basic version, so to speak. You've got a very comfortable chair, you've got your iPad in front of you, and when you rotate your feet, you can actually produce enough energy to power your um, iPad. Even if you rotate on a very mild tempo, you already produce enough. Um, now comes the hard part. Here, as you see what's inside. So now I've got a thing that looks cool, at least that's what I think, it's functional and meaningful at the same time. The hard part is this. I think we all need a change in perception. And what I mean by that is that in the old days, uh, you know, there was a relation between the activities we did and the energy needed for that. For instance, if you chop down a tree, you better have a good meal first, because otherwise you would faint. 
compared to now, now we go to our work sitting in a car, we work for eight hours a day sitting still behind a desk, we drive back with the car and then occasionally once or twice a week go to a gym. The relationship is gone. With the wheeler, I uh, restore that a bit. I mean, you can work like you used to and, and move at the same time. Apart from that, so it's actually about energy and activity. I bring them together. Looking at it from a different perspective, I want to add this. In 30 minutes, you can actually charge your device. So that means 30 minutes of moving, eight hours of work, which is cool, I think. Second, you do not use any fossil fuel in order to work, which is cool as well, I guess. I calculated it a bit. If, if only a thousand people will use the wheeler regularly, it would already differ three to five tons of coal per year. Third, you work on your health. Of course, I mean, you move your body, moving is good. So, you know, in the end, uh, generating your own power contributes to a healthy lifestyle. Sound a bit like a salesman now, sorry. Um, <laughs> third and last, your independence. Of course, because you don't need any power plant, um, you are your own power generator. All right, um, what's next? Yeah, what you do, you can see on a screen in a little applet, so you can see how many calories you burned, you can see how many energy you produced, and you can see how many energy is left. So, you know, you can also get a kind of a warning by the time you have to pedal again. Right. I made a different design already. This one is with an adjustable desktop. So, you know, it, it makes it possible to write something down and place your coffee somewhere. And, uh, well, of course, I, can, I definitely want to work on other versions. Uh, a version for kids might be, might be a nice idea, and maybe a version for the you know, developing countries, because we always assume there is the sun everywhere, but it's not. And there are a lot of places where they don't have electricity. But maybe the most important step for me is that you know, I found out that you can add value by thinking in the solutions of the planet. Thank you.